Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another This Week in Warhammer review. The Ultramarines lost. Ogram has fallen. So I hope we will get to see something here. <laughs> Let's dive in. Sunday preview. Load up on Astra Militarum books, Necromunda goodies and Minkalesk. Yeah, here we go. Yes. I will buy her <laughs> because Minka is one of my favorite characters in the Astra Militarum. Shadow of the Eighth. Ooh, how, how does my finances look like? No, it's two days too early. Okay, I won't be able to buy the Shadow of the Eighth collector's book. This looks really good. This is, what is this book cover? In her latest tale of revenge and honor, Shadow of the Eight by Justin D. Hill, she and the Cadian 101st have discovered a relic of the missing Cadian Eighth, thought to be lost in the destruction of their home world. Sensing a chance to right, pa uh, to right a past wrong, they follow the trail. Okay, okay, no, I don't want to know this. Pre-order is gorgeous, limited to Edition version signed by the author, individual numbered, 1,500 copies, features a cloth cover, I knew it, and unique art. Oh, a cloth cover. I have to find a way to make money. I have to sell my body for this. <laughs> then, of course, uh, the regular hardback edition, audiobook version. Oh, French and German, a simultaneous release. This is nice. Then the Omnibus, also very nice. I still don't know which head I want to use. I want the last rifle, but I guess I'm going with the bandana. Yeah, it sounds... Uh, this looks better i think yeah i will have to wait and see it depends on what she wields in the novel but the bandana head is the better one for me personally the necromanda core rule book isn't this a little bit late after the edition already has been there for a while a year was it a year can't remember when the Necromunda core book was released. Uh, then gang tactic cards, okay, high four tactic uh, card pack, card sleeves. Ooh, this is nice. But you can buy card sleeves basically everywhere. <laughs> Black Library, 10th Regimental Banner. Nice. Depending on what this will cost. Uh, with this A2 sized wall hanging design based on regimental banger, uh, banger, <laughs> banner. <laughs> uh, okay, hmm, this, 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 this. I don't know, I have to think about it because I want to put shelves up back there. This could be an interesting idea. Renegade's Harrow Master, nice. Finally, the Alpha Legion audiobook. Huh. Yeah, but I still don't have the finances. I really have to wait and see how I will do everything in the future. Manslayer. Uh, this is the 11th Godric and Felix book. Can't remember. But it doesn't really matter right now. I'm still at book two. <laughs> I really have to pick it up again. A warmer plus battle report and law master space marine librarians. It's Votan against Necrons. Nice. Like to see my little dwarvy friends there. Next week we're continuing coverage of Legionis Imper uh, Legions Imperialis with a look at the all new Ethan Heavy Sentinel, nice, as well as heaping of nostalgia for games featuring especially tiny space marines. Um, epic. <laughs> we also have lots of other great articles covering various aspects of what the warmer hobby. Yes, of course. Huh, interesting. So what I've heard from 
the podcast of the painting phase with Peachy, Pat and Jeff that the teams for the Warhammer Plus editing and everything else are diminished. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons why we don't get as much Warhammer Plus content right now because there are not many people left. <laughs> so this is interesting. The Minkalesque model, I definitely will pick her up. I really love the story of Minka and because it does not fall into this man rights women. Well, there is probably one or two passages in there, but she's written like a soldier and I really enjoy her story and how she deals with her squad as a sergeant. It's very good. So hobby progress. Um, last week was okay. I almost finished the model for the video I was talking about on the live stream yesterday because my precious ultramarines lost. But I'm happy that the Tyranids have a win. But I really, really love that we as Space Marines didn't get the attention cake at the live stream, even though I was convinced that we will see both factions. But I'm pleasantly surprised. This was a really, really good decision. Thank you for that, Warcom team. I have nothing to say about that. I loved every release there. Uh, of course, aesthetics are a really deep personal thing. The only thing for me was the non-assimilator. It was okay. <laughs> it was fine. The rest was fantastic. The rest was a cool watermelon on a hot summer day. I just want more of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will, um, as I've said, finish this model here. And John Wilkinson in the live stream chat had a very good idea for the YouTube title. It's going to be how to paint an army you don't want to paint. I really like that title. It's, I'm going to prepare you for this. It's not going to be the video I want it to be because I don't have the cameras as of yet. You will just see the final result of the video. Sadly, as of right now, at the end of the year, which is not this far in the future as we might think now, I will buy a second phone, which is going to replace this one here. And I will use this one because it has a really nice camera for miniature painting videos. Because I have a little clamp for my desk so I can uh, put it right in front of me without blocking my, side, uh, my line of sight. And yeah. This one's going to be a miniature painting <laughs> camera phone. <laughs> and yeah, this is difficult. I talked about it in my live stream yesterday with the watch along. I had a mental breakdown Thursday. So after that, there wasn't really much hobbying up until the watch along. And yeah, my medication changed. It was really hard. My neighbors called my parents and my family because they were scared. <laughs> I'm sorry, neighbors. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on the road of getting better. The medication I had really scrambled my brain. It felt like you're going to, you're boiling hot water to cook noodles in it. It was really hard. So yeah, I stopped taking that medication. <laughs> I'm on a new one. Let's see how this will work. <laughs> and never stop 
encouraging people to talk about mental health. It's really, really important. Um, our dog is with the family of my ex uh, because they know how to handle her and I don't have the mental capacities to look after her. But she will be back tomorrow because I missed that little rascal. And yeah, uh, the last few days, uh, not last few days, oh yes, the last few days, I was sleeping a lot because my body was taxed. It felt like it, I don't know how it felt like. I never felt anything like this before in my life. And to sleep 15, 16 hours a day just because my body and mind are exhausted. This is really hard. So I'm really happy with my progress that I almost finished this model. And yeah, but I'm going to talk about the model later. Maybe you already recognized what it is. Please don't spoil it in the comments. Um, because I said I'm never going to paint a model of this line. Or, yeah. <laughs> but I had to be sure. I ramble a lot now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit. But what was your hobby progress? I hope you had a better week than I. Uh, because no one should go th through with this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Minka Lesk. I'm, as I've said, I'm going to pick her up. Sadly, uh, on the 22nd, I, I have to sell my body for... <laughs> The special edition book I really wanted. If I, I already missed Honor uh, Honor Bound by if the Severina Rain novel by Rachel Harris. Uh, that really struck me, and the eBay prices are ridiculous. This this no. <laughs> I'm so mad at this. Just give us, don't. Tell us a week in advance that you're going to sell a limited edition book. This, there aren't as many copies. Please, Games Workshop, give us at least a month so we can plan our finances around this. Because I wouldn't have bought other stuff, which was not as important for me as these Black Library novels. I know it's a first world problem. I know there are more difficult things, but it makes me happy to have those books. And I do enjoy them. I'm, I have a shrine for my Ultramarine <laughs> special edition novels of the Black Library. I want to expand it and I'm always afraid that I will miss a book because I had no time in advance. Uh, please, at least for every release, we should have at least a month in advance to know it. There are enough reasons for it to not only make it a week. Yes, <laughs> I don't want to delve into this any deeper. I'm sorry. I uh, it, it just every week, every week, I think, OK, but uh, yes, I love this hobby just too much to not care. And I care. But yeah, again, I hope you had a better week than I. What was your hobby progress? What are you going to pre-order for yourself or for someone else? Also a very good thing to gift someone the gift of hobby. <laughs> Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. I forgot how to do my outro, but I'm too tired. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Stay excellent.
Bye.